Hi, good morning, guys. Um, I thought I'd do my first video inside the car. And um, what I wanted to talk about today was um, what we need to think about um, from April 2020. Now, I think that there's going to be um, cases where some directors are going to have to take contract inside the scope of IR 35 because the decisions now being passed to the medium and large organization. The invoice that you um, produce to the client or to the medium and large organization does have to have your VAT on there and you have to um, do your VAT return just the same. Another thing you have to think about is that that invoice payment um, is going to be net of income tax and national insurance contribution. The medium and large organization, they're going to take that tax out and they're going to pay it to the HMRC because that's their responsibility. And what's left of it, they're going to pay you and that will be your invoice um, payment. The second thing to know is that it is going to go on your books. You have to put it on your books. There are a lot of individuals that think that, okay, I'm going to be treated as an employee. So I'm going to be get, getting paid as an employee. So I don't have to do any accounting for that contract period that's not the case it's a business transaction you still have to put it on your books so how do you put it on your books well um the amount you're gonna have to put in for is amount that you're gonna have to put in for sales and the same amount you're gonna have to put on the PL as director's remuneration and what will happen is that they will cancel out and you will have a nil corporation tax effect on that so right there you don't need to worry but it still has to go through your accounting books so to wrap this up if you're gonna take a contract that's inside the scope of IR 35 don't forget that you still have to issue a VAT invoice to your client you still have to do VAT submissions. You have to put it on your books because it's a business transaction, regardless. Um, you are now seen as an employee, but you're seen as, as an employee for both organizations. You're seen as a primary employee for your company, and you're seen as a secondary employee for the client. Now, both individual have to make RTI submissions to HMRC. The client will have to do a full submission payment um, to show and, and also pay the um, PAY and national insurance contribution to HMRC. You will have to make also a RTI submission, but you have to state that it's a non-taxable payment that's going through. And um, that's it. So I hope this video helps and um, these are the things to consider if you're going to take a contract that's inside the scope of IRA. Um, I received an email this morning from HMRC. They have a few dates um, where they're going to do webinars on um, how on IR35. Um, so if you would like to register for that, I'm going to put the link also inside my comment and hopefully you could see that. Uh, but if you have any questions or if you have anything to add, um, let's make this a discussion for us to um, understand uh, IR35 a bit more um, before the time.